Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got a process video here using some Nouveau Mousse and some Vicky Boot and Let's Wander. So the first thing I did was get a stencil, um, a background cut out using my Cricut. So sometimes when you want a huge 12 by 12 stencil, um, one of the things you can do is actually just use a good piece of cardstock and um, your Cricut or your die cut machine and create your own background stencil. Um, I find that to be a lot easier and really a lot more cost effective. Now granted you can only use them one or two times, um, but if you're if that's all you want to do that makes it a lot easier. Now you'll notice I've already done some of the prep work for this page because the bulk of the page is going to be doing this Nouveau uh, mousse. So I'm using um, some Nouveau Mousse, and it's in this really pretty green color. Um, I'll link to uh, my little scrapbook store where I got it, and I believe she has some other colors available. Um, you can also always contact the store directly, and Michelle can tell you uh, if they have this particular color uh, in stock. Now this color is just a really pretty green, um, and it goes with the Vicky Booten Let's Wander kind of greens in that collection. And if you can tell, that was kind of the the theme I was going for for this particular page. Now one of the things I do is I tape the stencil onto my cardstock that I'm going to use and I use just some old washi that I'm not really fond of to do that. So here's my mousse. You can see now you could have added water to that if you wanted to water it down. Um, I was able to kind of just kind of mix it up and get it to be a little more malleable. And I am just going to use these Nouveau um, uh, brushes or actually not brushes. They're like scalpels um, and I will link to those too if Michelle has them and here I am I have finished most of covering the stencil and then I'm just gonna take and make sure I've covered up all of the white now I left this in in real time just so you could kind of see um, how long I am taking to kind of let it dry the, the issue with paper is if you let the paper dry with the mousse or any wet medium on it too long the paper might get stuck to the to the cardstock you're doing it as it dries so you kind of want to pull it off relatively quickly um, I wouldn't let it dry on there and kind of let the top cardstock get stuck to the bottom cardstock so I'm wiping my my blade off with um, just trying to get all the excess off I'm going to use a baby wipe to clean it off um, the big thing is if you have glitter mousse or anything with glitter in it you don't want to mix that with your regular mousse because then you'll get it to have some sort of um, glitter on that scalpel the the rubber and uh, it it won't work well in the in the long term so just make sure that you kind of have one for glitter and one not for glitter at least that's what I found so I'm cleaning it off with a baby wipe and then I'm gonna slowly take off um, the tape and show you the big reveal and I really love how this looks it's got a little bit of glitter a little bit of shine or not glitter a little bit of shine a little metallic to it and uh, it turns out really well. Now I did this with just the chevron pattern. You could do it with just about any background um, that you find. If you had an actual stencil you could use that as well. Um, I find it sometimes harder when you want to move, if you want to move a stencil that's not 12 by 12 around with the mousse because then you kind of get the stencil on top of each other. So a nice big background one. So here you go. You'll see the whole background. Now I do let this dry for quite some time before I come back to it. So it was a few, maybe an hour later before I came back to this particular page. But I'm going to show you um, kind of setup of after it dried, kind of what I did. So you'll see before I had already, um, and there's me kind of touching it, I'd already laid out kind of what I wanted to do. And I was going from a sketch that basically had a bunch of um, banners cut out below the pictures and then just had the um, embellishments kind of surrounding the picture cluster. So I had already cut out the pictures and all of this paper is from um, Vicki Booten and it's basically two sets, the Let's Wander and the one before that, but it's all the blues and greens from those sets. So it kind of went with that green. And I'm going to kind of show you what I did for, um, and then I'm going to use a, a black ribbon to kind of go above the the banners there. But I knew I wanted to set the banners up. I didn't want them to all be the same size and I wanted to make sure they were in different places but I cut them kind of all wonky. So what I'm going to do is instead of uh, putting the banners to the paper I'm going to piece the banners to each other and create the banner layout that I want based on the bottom of the banner. So I'm going to lay these out and then I'm just going to trim the top of the banner 
um, one time and have kind of a straight line. So if you'll notice, I am I'm lining these banners up not by the top, but by where I want the bottom, and then you can trim the top. It's kind of an easy way to handle it if you're not sure, you know, what you want your different staggers to look like. Is instead of trying to do them um, individually, kind of do them as a whole like this and piece them together first, and then you can trim off the top. Um, you can't really make things. You can't really trim off the bottom when they're when they've got that flag design, but you can always piece them together and kind of go from there. So I have all the banners kind of cut out where I want them, and now I'm going to trim it to give it a straight top. And then I'm going to lay those down. And you'll see I've got a nice banner shape and a nice way that I can still see the chevron. So it was kind of a shame to cover up as much of the chevron mousse as I did. Um, also, uh, this is a good trick that I've learned. The red line tape is perfect, perfect for ribbon. Um, this is one of those things that you need to do often. Um, if you're me, I use a lot of ribbon because I'm trying to use it up. And sometimes ribbon just doesn't stick if you use your um, ATG or even if you use um, liquid glue. But that red line tape really does hold um, ribbon down. So I use that all the time for ribbon. So I'm just putting that black line. Now I could have just done black on either edge because you're not going to really see it, but I did want um, I did want to just go ahead and do it. I have a lot of black ribbon, so that was okay. Now I'm adding some foam just to the top of these banners, and I'm going to kind of let them hang off the page, um, and they're kind of it gives it a little bit of depth. I could have added more foam. Um, underneath the bottoms parts, but I didn't feel like I needed to. That way they have a little bit of kind of um, dimension. I'm going to add more um, fun foam to the back of the picture so they they stick up and so I've got both the pictures there uh, underneath the fun foam. So this is Queen Staircase in the Bahamas. Um, so when we did a cruise to the Bahamas back in 2018, uh, we had one day and decided not to do any excursions. Instead, we decided we'd just get off the boat, get a bit, go to the visitor center, and just see what we wanted to see. And the Queen Staircase was one of those things that we had wanted to see, so we just started walking in the direction that the map told us to go in, and it was not easy to find. So finally, um, some of the local guys kind of saw us wandering around and said, what are you looking for, and pointed us in the right direction, and you basically walked through this um, kind of an alley and all of a sudden there was the Queen Staircase and it was just really a cool little um, remnant of an old fort uh, that was there in the Bahamas so it was kind of cool. We um, basically that day just kind of wandered around and hung out and you know I think it's probably going to be a while before any of us take any cruises or anything soon but you know the excursions are always great but sometimes it's just good just to kind of be on your own and do your own thing and that's one of the things we did that day um, particularly if it's in a safe area and I know some places they don't recommend you doing that but um, this particular day was really easy we did this did the fort and then we walked around the main street and had lunch and did one of the museums and that way we weren't off the boat for as long as um, a full excursion would have been. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the title down there in the bottom and I had already pre-gotten the title out, um, just black letters because I needed it to pop. It also kind of ties back in the black of that ribbon. Um, I had used black soot um, oxide to outline all the pictures. So now I'm going to just go through the embellishments of uh, the Vicki Booten Let's Wander and use quite a few of them. And I think that's kind of fun just to go through the different sticker books. Um, when you buy, um, when you buy the Happy Scrappy bag from Michelle, you get um, quite a few of the embellishments, and so that way you can use everything that matches. Uh, I like that because then you don't have to worry about trying to find things that match. And the good thing about the Vicki Booten stuff is most of her stuff is interchangeable from previous collections. So I actually have, um, uh, I don't, Wildflower and Honey, is that it? The previous collection, and actually some of the stickers I'm going to use are from that. So they all kind of go together and it, it's a good cohesive from one, one to the next. Um, and uh, this is me trying to figure out exactly what the date was. Um, and I think that's important. So 
look at um, the happy scrappy bags that she has for Let's Wander. I think she has two options. She has one that has the big mega one that has all of the embellishments and then I think there's a smaller one that has um, a little bit less embellishments but just remember these embellishments particularly if you'll notice these are tags these are just tags for journaling you can use that with basically any collection it doesn't have to be a Vicki Booten collection there's also um, little phrases now these are particularly travel phrases so they kind of need to go with travel collection but their colors would go with um, just about anything that you have so uh, I like the Vicki Booten embellishments those are the ones I tend to go to the most they're the ones I keep the most and use particularly her um, die cuts which is what I'm gonna pull out I think oh, nope still using the sticker sheets um, but she also has a lot of little word tiny word stickers so you can use a lot of those stuff so this is the the die cut package that you're gonna get and there's a lot of die cuts and there's some of them are words and kind of icons and then there's some that are florals so the other thing about the let's wander is um, there's a lot of larger um, die cuts so if you really like it particularly if you're trying to use it on a 12 by 12 page like I am um, and you need the bigger and um, bigger die cuts this is a good set for you I am pulling out like a vellum um, a vellum tag that has a map on it and like I said because we were following the map and that was kind of the story so I wanted to find like maps and um, I knew there were some some different embellishments in there um, I really wanted to get some leaves because that there was greenery all around there but this map was kind of important to me and I, I couldn't get that to work so I was just trying to find things that would work um, on this page um, so like I said there's a lot of really big die cuts so some of it you know it's it's a struggle to use if you don't use the big pages but in general I find that her her die cuts fill up a page and you can kind of get a lot of use out of them so I'm going through the second package there's two different types of ephemeras um, and from this one I'm gonna pull a couple of florals and you'll notice there are um, like pizza and some food so this particular let's wander collection also has a lot of food so like where did you eat in different places and I've used those on a few different pages already so uh, after this is kind of how I'm gonna lay out the page I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to it and you will just see me uh, stick everything down so I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, I've added a um, Brad to that and this is kind of like one of my favorite pages I've made lately I like the combination of the mixed media and the tags and just you know all the embellishments I did get some journaling on there on that one tag and uh, I'm still trying to find just a couple of other things to add here you notice this is actually from wildflower and honey so it's not the same collection but as, as I said you can just make it all work it's all the same color scheme so I'm gonna pop some of these up on foam and some of it I'm just gonna stick right down and I like to do that just particularly on pages like this when there's a lot of texture um, the page is a little bit warped from all the mixed media now as it sits in my album it'll kind of get flattened out but um, just with all the texture on the background it's good to add uh, dimension to some of your embellishments so they pop up I like having the florals on one side and the compass on the other so it's kind of a differing um, view you'll see I've got words in different places and uh, I did match the little journaling block with another piece on the bottom of the second photo that looks the same so I'm kind of mix, mixing and matching now I only have two of those but um, I kind of surrounded all the photos with information so I, I think that works as opposed to having like a you know three areas so I'm gonna adhere this one last piece and then I'm gonna look at it and try to decide if it needs anything else so I do have black down in the bottom right and if you'll notice I have completely covered up that black ribbon can't even tell that it's there so I spent all that time putting it down can't even tell it's there so I go ahead and grab my black Nuvo um, drops and I add some of that just so that there's some black on the page again so that the title doesn't stick out too much so basically that is my page I've got a couple of close-ups just so you can see it but I really appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed it here's a close-up of that moose uh, and just kind of how it turned out and then here's the final page I appreciate it thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and subscribe bye bye